We've been really enjoying our time in Turkey these past few weeks, hanging out on our own private beach, exploring ancient ruins, and searching for more secluded beach camps with pretty incredible views. Thanks for joining us in another episode as we beach hop the west coast to Kanakale. right and the weather is absolutely perfect today the ocean is so calm again it's crystal clear and we're about to go for a swim um, yeah I'm so excited to get in there but yeah yesterday was just a crazy day with the weather the wind was insane so yeah I'm really really happy that today it's much better so we're gonna stay here all day today and stay here again tonight and yeah just spend some time at this beautiful spot there's one little boat down there they're just scoop, um, snorkeling I think so yeah, other than that, it's just us, it's awesome. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy the other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Put me together, take me back where I belong I want it all Back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling But the feeling is all gone Take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to live In the moment I hung desperately The other ring of my wrist is going Bearing with the light of gold. So that was a good dive, the water clarity is just amazing It was The visibility was awesome uh, It was definitely a lot colder than what it was the other day not sure if it's because it's a bit deeper than the other beach we're at or because we're a little bit further west that it's getting different currents or something um, or it was just really windy yesterday and it's just blown in a top layer of cold water in but yeah it was definitely cold I wish I took my rest shirt in um, but yeah we explored a cave which was we can like it's just past these trees so that was really interesting to see the water is just so blue when you're inside the cave um, but yeah on the way there's not much um, life in there either Although I think the only thing that is living in there was something that stung me on the way out. I've got massive welts all at the back of my leg now, so yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it was awesome to be in the water. We're gonna go back in a bit later when it warms up. A little bit more, I think. Cheers. We're waiting for moments like this for the last 18 months. A spot. Been a pretty good day, hey? Beautiful. And I'm really happy because I just had a shower um, using my little bottle of water. Wash my hair. <laughs> it's the simple things. It is another beautiful day here. This has been an absolutely fantastic camp spot. This is obviously where we've been set up. Um, and so we sort of had the place to ourselves really. There's this like little peninsula thing that we've had to ourselves we had the hammock up in between these trees yesterday which was awesome just to hang out 
and then that little rocky outcrop there was where we got out in the water yesterday. So we swam out all that way. Good morning. Morning. How are you going? <laughs> Good. We're going to have to put the spear gun back into storage. Not much fish around here at the moment. I don't know if the dead med is going to throw anything up for us, but our old mate, the local guy, came down this morning spearing and he didn't get anything. So, I don't know, maybe the next spot we go through might have more luck, but... Um, yeah, not a lot of fish here, unfortunately. But heaps of rocks. We'll keep trying. Yeah, heaps of rocks and flies. Unbelievable how many. They're like these bee wasp combo hybrids. I think I got, I think, I think I got <laughs> stung yesterday on the back of the knee. But we've got the mozzie cores going and it doesn't seem to be doing anything. <laughs> but, you know, take the good with the bad. I mean, I'm happy to put up with the flies for this view. Yeah. So, although we did get in the water down here yesterday, there's the other little beach which is just around here so there's like the track that continues all the way around and the little beach in there and there's like a little footpath that goes up to where the hairpin in the road is which is much easier to get in and out of the water that way so we came out that way um and then oh yeah the um sting that i had on my legs yesterday from i'm pretty sure it was from a jellyfish that's gone away which is good because I don't have big like welts <laughs> all over the back of my legs anymore. This morning we're gonna pack up. We're heading back up that pretty um, epic road. It was, so from here up to the top, I think it's about a 500 meter change in elevation and the distance is quite short as well. So um, yeah, made for a pretty dramatic drive down here and I'm sure it'll be also <laughs> quite dramatic on the way up. But Thankfully this, um this is the tire that blew and it has delaminated oh, yeah. <laughs> but um it's still got some structural integrity so we managed to just put the bag back on there and get it out of floating around inside until we can get something new um but yeah today we are planning to cover a little bit of ground just continuing to follow the west coast of turkey um so we're not 100 percent sure how far we're going to get today there's a couple of spots that we've pinned that we're going to sort of aim to get to but yeah we'll just see how far we get but it's a beautiful day for a drive and just gonna pack the car down and we're gonna get going another camp spot by the ocean um, I found this one on Google just by looking at the satellite and seeing some tracks I did think that they went to the beach here but they sort of only go here and there's just a walking track going down so that's all right we'll just have to go for a stroll which is probably not bad because I think <laughs> in this part of Turkey it's like there's a beach just down about 
couple of k's that way and um, apparently you could camp on that one and it's chock a block a Saturday night here and there'd probably be 50 cars with tents and everything set up so I think it's kind of a good compromise here but there's just nobody here yeah hang on I'll take you for a stroll and show you the beach so this is obviously the walking track here there's like a nice little protected bay down there so we'll go for a swim maybe a bit later or in the morning we, um, we might actually just get the chairs out and have a beer. It was a bit of a long day driving. Um, there was actually so many friendly people on the road. Turkish people are so friendly. It's like being back in like Indonesia or Tajikistan or something, like everyone waves and says hi. We didn't get as far today as what I was hoping to, but that's okay because this is a beautiful spot. The coastline is um, quite a fair bit different to where we were last night, but it's nice for a little bit of change of scenery. Here you go. Oh, cheers. You wouldn't know it with the weather now, but it was absolutely howling last night. There was such strong gusts of wind all night, which started pretty much from the moment we got into bed <laughs> to the moment we woke up this morning. Um, but anyway, it is a beautiful day today. We're just walking down to go for a swim now. The water looks lovely. Um, and then we are gonna keep, <laughs> keep driving. I think we've got another 400 kilometers to do today and we're actually going to cross over to Gallipoli so that's quite exciting um, but yep just gonna head down here now Mark's already down there so I might go join him the best start someone's parked over the track so it's just a wee bit tight for us to get out there so we're gonna have to go and hunt these people down and get them to move the car it's a bit annoying hey mark reckons we can fit through than what I do. <laughs>
So with this short ferry ride across the Dandenels, the trippy officially enters Europe and leaves Asia. Finally, three years, 11 months and 25 days after entering way back in Timor-Leste. We hope you've enjoyed our extended trip across Asia. In the next one, we head to Bulgaria, then start exploring Greece. Thanks for watching. See ya.